Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Trek Tarot, Summer so Magic Inspirations. And I'm here with a love reading, this is a pick a pile. What is next in love? And this is geared up for singles. I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support, I really appreciate that. If you enjoy the video, please leave me a like or a comment or share. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm still doing the healing sessions, they're £60 right now. And if you want to book a session, the links are down below to book on the calendar and to pay by PayPal. I also have my links for my deck shop, my Patreon page, and all the books I have on Amazon, the poetry, and there's a children's storybook if you're interested. So please check those out. So yeah, we're going to look at um, your next, what's next in love for singles. So... We've got three piles to choose from. So pile one, we have a purple heart. Pile two, we have the white heart. And pile three, there is a black heart. So we've got, I pre-shuffled the oracles, so we're going to go through the oracles and then we're going to get some tarot messages as well. And we're going to be looking at um, what is this going to happen, you know, how is this going to happen, what, what is it going to start off like um, for you? How, you know, not going into specifics of how you're going to meet, but just how you might feel about each other in it initially. So I'll meet you at pile one. Hello, pile one, you chose the purple heart. So let's get your overall energy for this connection. And I was amazed when this came out because it's the love, the lover's card in the tarot, the traditional tarot. So there's definitely love coming towards you and it looks very balanced. It could be soulmate energy. I will see the lovers as soulmate energy for me. But you're very happy. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really heart-centred connection. Um, very balanced, you know, they're like holding each other there. So I feel it's going to be very supportive and very protective of each other. And you're only going to have eyes for each other. You know, there's not going to be outside interference. You can see the way they're looking at each other there. You only have eyes for each other, I feel. So I wanted to look at the energies when you might meet them. What energies might you be in? So we're looking at the feminine. And this isn't genders. This is feminine energy. So we've got go for it energy. We've got the moon in Aries. So it could be an Aries season. We're in Aries season right now. So for some of you, it could be quite soon that you're going to meet this person. Um, you could be in Aries, but you're just ready to go for it. You want to take a chance. You're ready to go for love again. You're ready to try again. Um, maybe you've been single for some time and you've been get over healing from a heartbreak from before. Um, it'd be different for everybody, but you're ready to go for it when you meet this person. It's like as soon as you decide you're ready, this person turns up in your life. And trust the universe. So this is a masculine energy when you meet. So they're in that trusting energy. They're getting ready to, you know, they're ready to trust that all will work out. So they're obviously in an energy of, of ready readiness as well. And I feel it's all divine timing. You're both going to be ready at the same time. And it's like a, a switch is flicked on and you're immediately attracting each other like a magnetic attraction and the universe will conspire to bring you together. I'm not looking into how you're going to meet here. But yeah, you're going to be, you know, you're definitely going to meet them. So we've got some flirtatious energy here. So you could be meeting them like they, they've got drinks here. So you could be meeting them online. And maybe you're going out, your first date is a drink, you know, a drink in a bar. Or, or you're out with friends and you're in a bar somewhere. Or somewhere where there are drinks. And maybe you've had a few and you're feeling a bit relaxed, you know, more, you know, more relaxed. And there's flirtatious energy here when you meet. There's a lot of flirting energy. And we've got like a quarter moon energy there. So that could be a significant time span for when you actually do meet this person. So in, in between the full moon and the new moon. Um, and again, we've got that powerful solar eclipse coming up very soon as well. And we've got take your time. So the guidance is to take your time um, and to not rush into anything. So I feel that's the energy that you're in. Maybe you rushed into things before with somebody and it didn't work out. 
and maybe you're both feeling a bit cautious as well um maybe you know i feel that you feel that instant attraction straight away with that flirtatious energy and and it feels different it feels special and you don't want to rush it you don't want to ruin it is what i feel there but we have one night stand <laughs> so this is my love games oracle in my shop so yeah you could end up being intimate okay um there's a few drinks flowing maybe when you meet a bit of flirtation some kissing and maybe you know although you want to take your time you know sometimes you know desire gets the better of us doesn't it our passion gets the better of us and we've got one night stand here so it could actually start off as a one night stand i mean that happened with my second marriage actually <laughs> maybe i shouldn't say that but yeah and we you know that happened to us and we ended up getting married I mean, divorced now, but we had 10 years together. Um, so, yeah, you know, permanent relationships can come out of those situations. And there was a lot of tenderness and care in here. So it wasn't just, you know, one of those unfeeling experiences. It was very tender and caring. And, yeah, you lit a flame within each other. Um, and it doesn't mean to say that you're even intimate. You could spend the night... I know people that spend the night talking to people um, and not being intimate, you know, just really wanting to be, not wanting to leave, wanting to be in each other's company. So it may not be a physical intimacy. It might just be that you're talking all night and you find it hard to say goodbye because there is this, such this strong connection. And we've got expectations. So I feel that you're feeling this, the feminine energy. I feel you're feeling something is coming. And we've got the number 28, which is the 10, which is that one, that new beginning. You feel something. You're you're sensing it. You're intuitively feeling that there's something on the horizon. So I feel you're very tuned into that. And we've got journey here. And we've got another one. So we've got an 11 energy. So this person could live in a different part of the world or the country to you. There could be a journey involved for you to meet, um, you know, or maybe this person was visiting where you live and they don't live in that area. Um, so, you know, there could be at the beginning, there could be maybe a difficulty getting together. There could be a journey to get together. You know, we've got a train here, it could be a plane, train, um, a boat even. They could live in a different part of the world and you met up while they were here. And then there's a journey towards back towards each other. Um, or it could just mean that you live a distance apart and there's journeys to be made. So that takes time and effort, doesn't it? And I feel that you are both going to want to put in that time and effort. Yeah, we've got playfulness. So we had that flirtation. So I feel there's a lot of really playful energy between you, light-hearted energy when you meet. Um, you're having a laugh. You're really making each other laugh and smile and there's giggling. And yeah, you may have had a few to drink, but it's a really playful, fun energy. And you really make each other laugh, I feel. And we've got healing. So this connection is going to be very healing for both of you, I feel. You could have both been through some difficult situations before. And you're going to really help each other heal, heal, heal each other's hearts here. Yeah, there's a lot of chemistry and magnetic attraction. There's a lot of chemistry here. You know, there's flirting, there's tenderness, there's playfulness. And I feel that eye contact, you're going to feel that connection. Um, and there's a magnetic attraction between you both. You're both going to feel that, I feel, at the beginning. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, again, it's very strong soulmate energy here. Um, and they may be somebody, they may look different to your... I mean, a lot of us do have types, don't we? A certain type we go for, or a certain look, maybe we shouldn't be, but... You know, and it's time to get more open minded. They they could be very different to the type you've gone gone for before. They could look very different. Um, but it's a pleasant surprise, you know, it's really gonna be a pleasant surprise. Yeah, attraction, there's a lot of attraction between you here. You know, we've got chemistry, we've got attraction, we've got flirting, but there's tenderness and care in between you as well. So yeah, it's like sparks fly, I feel, when you meet. Yeah, and they're gonna see you in this you know, divine feminine energy, they're going to see you, they're going to have you in very high esteem. And this could also be when you're in like, like empress energy as well, you're going to feel, be feeling really good about yourself. 
and you've done that work inner work on yourself to heal from before whatever happened and you're really feeling good you're in that magnetic attraction energy and you're attracting this person towards you so this is my journey of love oracle so let's look at what i'll share so you could start off friends this could be mutual friend um or it could be a friend and it ends up you know like i said some some of you could end up in a one night, one night stand or you're spending the night talking um this could be in your friend group for some of you a lack of honesty wearing a mask so again the could if you're friends already with this person there may be what mask wearing going on here um afraid to share your feelings with somebody afraid to express how you really feel um and just you know saying you want friend to be friends but wanting more than that is what i'm picking up from that and we've got inner child family healing healing family wounds so you know i feel for both of you there could be inner child wounding that you've been working on and i feel that when you do that healing that is when you're ready to come together in union in, into a proper relationship here and you've met each other you know you could know each other already for some of you and the person i've been searching for so that realization at some point in this connection because you know that night out you could be in a friend group and this person's there and you'll get you know you've had a few to drink and and then you're getting more flirtatious and it leads to kissing and for some yes you are going to be intimate for some and others you're going to spend the whole night talking and just really sharing more uh, and then realizing that 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 is your person and you're both realizing that yes yeah, soulmate soul love yes yeah, so definitely um very strong soulmate energy for part one there so let's get some tarot what else do you need to know about your next love we've got king of wands energy so for some of you it could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius but doesn't have to be um it could be somebody um that's in that energy that's you know very sexy um they're very masculine a very strong masculine energy here um they go after what they want they take action you know they're they don't procrastinate and we've got the hierophant energy here so you know there could be a want to commit you know we've got romeo energy they're going to feel very romantic about you i feel when they have this realization there's going to be romance here so what else for part one about this new love yeah we've got six of coins there's going to be very balanced there's going to be a balance of give and take between you it's going to be very equal yeah they're going to see you as a queen of coins you could be an earth sign Taurus, Virgo, capricorn or they're just just seeing you in that energy loving nurturing grounded very down to earth very practical um and very attractive anything else about this new love for par one yeah ace of cups so there's a brand new beginning in love here and i feel it's you're going to meet you know you're going to really get together when you're both in that self-love energy and you're feeling better about yourselves so i'm going to leave it there part one love and blessings hello part two you chose the white heart so let's look at what's next in love for you and this is the overall energy we've got blossom number 20 so yeah definitely number with that too there is a partnership a relationship forming and we've got blossom here so i feel something is blossoming something is coming into being here and she's like got the world in her hands so a new chapter of your life is starting a much happier phase a much sunnier phase you could have been going through some sort of transformation so i want to look at the energy for the feminine when you meet so we've got release your block so we've got scorpio energy so you could be a scorpio well, you've been going through a lot of transformation and yeah i feel you have with that release your blogs i feel you've been working on yourself on your inner self your inner wounds and doing healing and release work here when you meet this person and for the masculine know you are loved we've got libra energy 
So it could be a Libra or somebody who's very balanced um, in their energies and know that you're loved. So they're in that self-love energy. Um, they're feeling good about themselves when you meet them and confident and knowing their worth. So, yeah, that's your energy. So make the first move. So the encouragement is to maybe take the first move, viewer, and usually the viewers are feminine, I guess. Um, it may be time to make a move here. Um, so if you meet somewhere and you don't normally make the move, you may really feel the urge to make the move here um, with this person. If they're not making a move and you feel really strongly about somebody, I don't think it matters. Um, and if it, it could just be simple as like you're out and maybe you're out on a date with this person and you lean in for a kiss because they're kissing there. And you could take this person by surprise, but in a really good way. Because um, maybe they're a bit nervous about doing that. And you really feel called to do it. You really want to. If you really want to do it and you feel moved to do it, just go for it. And meant to find each other. So it does feel a destined connection. You could feel that when you meet them. You could really feel that, you know, it could be one of those oh, I feel I know you from somewhere, you know, that you get when you meet certain people. And we've got the red, you know, the, the red binding there, the red string, if you like. So there could be some sort of soul contract between you where you were destined to meet in this lifetime. Um, so, yeah, there is a, a soul tie between you, some sort of soul tie. And there's a lot of passion when you meet as well. So we, we had the kiss in there. So, yeah, when you meet this person, you know, you may start kissing each other quite quickly on the date you know you're going to feel that instant attraction i feel and that desire and you are going to date each other this is going to lead to dating um here um i'm not sure how you might meet them it could be online i'm not getting at any of them i'm not looking into that particularly um, and i'm look, looking into the timing we're just looking at what the energy is here and we've got imprisonment and we've got num number 11 energy. So I feel that you're stuck up in your thoughts. I mean, that could be part of your blocks that you had where you were like, it reminds me of the Eight of Swords energy, which is that self-imposed imprisonment in our mind, where you were stuck in your mind, you were overthinking, you were not in your feelings, and you felt in very much in stuck energy for a long time. You were keeping yourself stuck with your limiting thoughts and behaviours. But I feel that you've released that, okay, when you meet this person. And we've got thoughts here again. So I feel that this person, um, he could be an artist. We've got somebody of art, um, paints and everything. Could be an artist. Um, when you meet, after you meet, they're very much going to have you on their mind. Um, I feel you're going to have each other on each other's mind, actually. Um and we've got the number one plus six, which is seven energy, which is that spirituality. So I feel it's def definitely a spiritual connection. You're going to be have a spiritual connection with this person. And they're some sort of artist. And they're really going to be heavily thinking of you after that meeting, I feel. Yeah, we've got the truth. So I feel it's going to be a very honest connection. You're going to be open and honest with each other. You're going to speak your truth. You're going to feel safe to speak your truth. And new beginnings, yeah. New, like I said, a new chapter is starting in your life here. It's a whole new chapter for you. And you're going to have adventures with this person. We've got the Eiffel Tower there. So you could be travelling with this person. Or maybe you live in France. Or maybe this person does. Or you're going to visit France. Um, Paris, France. But not necessarily. But you're you're going to travel with this person. I feel in the future you're going to travel with this person and we've got trust the situation is calling for you to have faith so yeah maybe you've got trust issues you know we said that you've been doing work on releasing blocks and releasing negative thought patterns and behaviors so there could be trust issues I mean you both could have trust issues and we have to earn each other's trust so you could be working on that with this person and um, learning to trust again, you know, if you've both been um, betrayed in the past, it can take a while to, to trust people and, you know, maybe trust yourself as well. Start trusting yourself more and build on that trust with each other. And we've got very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So, 
yeah once you're ready i feel once you feel ready for this beginning and we have got that um solar eclipse on the 8th which again is a portal today as i'm recording this is the first of april so very much about new beginnings in april so yeah once you decide you know you're going to meet them very soon once you're ready once you're in the energy of feeling ready to meet somebody it, it's going to happen and we've got abundance energy so yeah you're coming into a period of much more abundance you know that that energy there you know she's got a beautiful like sun you know like abundance energy happiness joy you know a lot of good things coming towards you here and we've got the eight energy here so the solar eclipse could be significant for for some of you there and we've got the heart chakra the full chakra heart heart energy so heart energy heart opening awakening so again i feel that you've been working on that um opening up your heart i feel both of you have been doing that and as i said when you meet this masculine he's really going to be in that energy of self-love and i feel that you've done a lot of work on that and you're really going to help each other open up your hearts even more i feel and this is my journey of love oracle so intense desires i want you now so yeah we said that passion so there is this passionate attraction like i said it said take the first move so it doesn't matter who one of you is going to kiss the other i feel on your first day i definitely feel that and let's talk about you and me so that you know we said there's not there's truth between you there's good conversation there's intelligent conversation between you and maybe you enjoy going out for italian food or something like that but you're going to have really good conversations with this person and i really like you it's more than like so initially you might say that to each other you know i really like you but actually you you're developing feelings for each other because your heart chakras are, are open and, and awakening and really you know warming and, and learning to trust each other yeah two hearts beat as one so you're really gonna you know i feel you're gonna fall for this person quite quickly but you might it might be a while before you say that because you're working on that trust the trust issues that you have here and this is real love yeah so there is going to be a realization i feel um from both of you at some point that this is a real love connection um so yeah it maybe make the f make make the first move is about who's going to be the one to say i love you first sometimes that's a scary place to be because you're not sure you know you may not be 100 percent sure if your feelings are reciprocated so what tarot messages for part two? What's next in love? What else do they need to know? What's next in love? Well, we've got King of Cups energy. So your person could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. Um, but somebody very much in touch with their emotions, somebody that has love to offer, so they're ready for love. And we've got Queen of Wands, so they could see you in that energy, the feminine energy. Somebody very sexy, very sensual, very passionate, um, you know, someone that a lot of people find attractive and you're very motivated and confident as well. So they like that about you. What other energies about new love for part two? Yeah, we've got Prince of, of Cups. So there could be a message coming towards you, especially if you're, you know, in communication with somebody already. Or this is happening in the near future, you know, you're going to get some messages. This could be online. Flirtatious messages, I feel. We've got Queen of Cups energy. So there's definitely a match here with the King and Queen of Cups. They see you as loving, compassionate. Um, you know, you are a match here. Yeah, we've got Three of Cups. So I feel that you're going to, you know, we've got regular dating. You're going to go out and have nice times together and have fun times. You know, maybe go out for drinks, for meals um you know really socialize maybe meet each other meet each, bleh, meet each other's friends yeah we've got emperor energy so this is your divine masculine this is feels like your counterpart energy here the one you've been waiting for wow and we've got the sun so the sun is definitely coming out in your life we i said that at the beginning you know happier times yeah the wheel of fortune so the wheel is turning you know things are moving forward in your life in a much happier positive way um you know once you meet this person you know your life's going to change so i'm going to leave it there pile two love and blessing hello pile three you chose the black heart
So let's look and see what is next in love for you. This is the overall energy. So we've got release energy here. So we've got the number one plus three, which is a four, which talks about stability, foundation. So what I was picking up when I saw this is like, I feel you need to release somebody or something um, in your life. Something is holding you back. And maybe you're still connected to somebody else and you need to cut cords, I feel. Um, I have got a cord cutting um, video on my channel if you want to look at that. But I feel you need to release. Release the past. Let go of any attachments to the past here to enable yourself to move forward. So I ask what the feminine energy is when you meet. And it says believe in your good luck. So we've got Sagittarius energy. So you could be a Sagittarius and that's ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of good fortune. So I feel that you're coming in, once you do that releasing, you're coming into a much um, better phase. You're going to feel lucky. You're going to feel that things are starting to move forward after a time of stagnancy. Because when we hold on to things or people, it can really keep us stuck. So I feel once you do that releasing, um, good luck's coming towards you here. And maybe part of that is this connection. And the masculine energy is, see the bigger picture, and we've got Sagittarius energy again here. So you could both be Sagittarius or it could be in Sagittarius season as well, which is November, October, November. So see the bigger picture. So I feel this person is seeing the bigger picture. They're not small minded and they're quite open minded, I feel. And they're good at seeing the other person's point of view. Um, and they don't expect people to agree with them. You know, they accept other people's beliefs. You know, they're not judgmental of other people. And we've got release and cutting ties. So again, that's confirming it. I thought that was, you know, when it came out, it it was so powerful that that came out with that release because there's all different cards in this deck. So it's definitely confirming you need to cut ties with somebody and release them, okay? By holding on to them, it's not doing either of you any good. And when we have these cords of attachment, it can drain our energy. And I feel once you do that cord cutting, you're going to release, you're going to feel so much lighter. And just because you cut cords, it doesn't mean to say you're never ever going to speak to them or see them again. Um, it's just sometimes we need to do this, you know, to, to enable ourselves to move on. And if you're meant to be together, you will be. Yeah, past love. A past love connection may be re-entering your life. So... I feel for a lot of you that are holding on to somebody in the past, when you do this releasing and cutting ties, they could return to you. I'm not saying that every situation is somebody returning, but it, it could be that it allows space for somebody to come in. So it's going to allow space either for this person to return when they're able, when they're ready, or allow space for someone new to come in um, once you let go of, you know, when you release, because when you're holding on, you're not allowed space for anything new to come in. Yeah, we've got reunions. So for a lot of you, it could involve a reunion here. But just cutting these cords could really help speed that up. I know that may, may sound counterintuitive, but I feel that if you're holding on to the past version of each other, it's keeping you stuck in that energy. So make sure you do the cord cutting and release a connection with them and just go about your life, go about your day. And if they're meant to return, they will. Yeah, we've got partnerships. So whatever scenario you relate to, there is a partnership coming in, a solid partnership coming in here where you're both going to be ready to have that committed connection. Yeah, pathway. So you're, you're moving along the pathway. There's transformation here with the butterflies. And we've got number 35, which is an eight energy. And that's the year we're in now, eight 2024 is an eight energy. So you're moving towards the light. You're moving towards, you're coming out of the dark into the light. So once you release, once you let go, you're really enabling yourself to move further along that pathway towards the light. Yeah, we've got wealthy man here. So we've got number four again, one plus three, two thirteens as well. Thirteen, thirteen is a very powerful angel number as well. So check that out. Um, this person could be a wealthy man. Maybe you had to separate. Maybe they were focusing on their finances, you know, their day-to-day -day concerns, you know, their job, their work. Maybe they had to put in a lot of time and dedication on that because they wanted to come back and be in that energy of being able to um, 
provide although you know we've got got out of those energies in these days but a lot of masculines still want to be able to provide whether they need to or not to feel it makes them feel good about themselves so this could be somebody who is a businessman they've got their own business or they're an entrepreneur they're very smartly dressed could be dark haired have a beard um, they're just smart they could be somebody that does wear suits you know and um, they could be dressed a bit differently to others um, I feel they're very well trip, well travelled and well read. They're very intelligent. So whether this is a past person or this is somebody new, whatever resonates, um, they're in a good status in their life when you get together here. Yeah, we've got patience. So you've had to be patient here. Um, there's patience been needed here um, for yourself and this person. Um you know, and we've got angel wings there. So, again, I'm getting inner child work. So maybe you've had to do, or, or I would advise you to do some inner child work and really connect with that inner, inner aspect of you, do some healing on that. And we've got harmony. So you're coming into harmonious phase of your life, you know, once you let go of the past and, and cut those cords and compassion, have compassion for yourself and this person. You know, you're doing the best you can where you're at right now. Um and sanctuary, I, I feel you're going to be a sanctuary for each other. You're going to be that safe place for each other. Um, whether this is somebody returning or this is somebody new, you are going to be that safe place for each other. And we've got release your ex. The time has come. Again, it's releasing. I can't believe how many cards are about that. This is the only part where that's happened. So it's time to clear your energy. It's about clearing your own energy. You're in stuck, stagnant energy, some of you, if, if that resonates. So let go of those you know chords and clear your mind you know do some healing do do a sound healing or a ritual and clear your energy sage your space sage your energy have a salt bath just clear your energy and it allows either for this person to return or somebody new because you're allowing that space and it's true love this is a romance of a lifetime so you know whether it is somebody returning or whether it's somebody new who could you could have known in a past life that could be the reunion energy there but it's true love okay this is true love coming in and we've got the fish chakra the, the throat chakra so communication there'll be communication coming in at some point and again it's when you both ready you know when you both done that healing around that throat throat chakra when you're ready to communicate clearly and transformational energy so yeah this is a big transformation um that you're going through right now and you know we had all those butterflies so just you know have patience just take care of yourself do do the work on yourself that you need to do so this is my deck journey of love which is in my shop flirty fun times so you're going to start off in a flirty energy with somebody and there's going to be um a fear around please don't break my heart so um you know whatever connection you're getting into there is a slight fear around that um where you've suffered heartbreak before and i cannot get you off my mind so again a lot of you were overthinking this person i feel and you need to you know release those thoughts you really need to cut cords and pull back your energy right now and we got back together in each other's arms so again it's confirming the reunion energy here for a lot of you and you, this looks like an airport so you could live in different countries as well um, maybe you've not been able to be together for a while and there is this reunion and it's a hopeful romantic love so there's going to be a lot of romance playful energy uh, loving energy and give your relationship a chance so you know once the time is right and this if this is a reunion and you come back together give you know give it a chance see what happens okay see what happens if this person comes forward or if it's somebody new, just give it a chance. See what happens. So what do they need to know about what's next in love for pile three? What do they need to know? What's next in love for the highest light and love of all? Yeah, we've got eight of coins energy skill. So I feel it's time for you to focus on you, to develop a skill, um, you know, a creative project or something like that. Work on your job. And we've got page of trees, the dream. We've got the peace energy there. So connect with your dreams. Maybe keep a dream diary. Because there may be messages in your dreams.
Yeah, we've got the universal world energy expansion. So there is a whole new chapter going to be starting. And we've got the ten of coins. We've got loyalty. So I feel that you and this person, you know, we've got the heart there. Are very loyal. Your hearts are very loyal to each other. And we've got the nine of hearts. Stability. So there's stability coming in. And a wish fulfillment with that nine of cups energy. Yeah, look at that. The release. Oh my God, you can't make it up. <laughs> you can't make it up, pile three. Look at all the cards about release. Unbelievable. Yeah, going through a metamorphosis right now. And another 13. Oh my God. 13, 13, 13. Wow. So check out that number. But this is a death card. You're going through a metamorphosis. You're going through a change. And this will affect your connection as well. What else for Paul? What else do they need to know? Yeah, we've got nine of wands energy. So you never gave up. You persevered. You're not, you don't give up. You're not giving up on each other. And we've got the king of coins, architect. So this could be the masculine energy. This could be the person um, that you connect with. You know, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an architect. This is somebody that is really a, like a visionary, I feel. This is somebody that has ideas um, and very intelligent person and we got the six of cups again the past wow so definitely a lot of you in this pile it's definitely a reunion energy coming in and we got the lovers so soulmate energy what did it say on there union yeah coming into union and we got the sun energy so wow i can't say any more than that so by you doing this release work on yourself and this connection you actually enable a new beginning to come in. So whether that is a reunion or whether this is somebody new, maybe a past life soulmate, um, but there's definitely a union going to come in. And I haven't got timings. I'm not doing timings here. But, uh, you know, normally the next three months, I would say. I'm going to leave it there, part three. Love and blessings. Take care.